Hi guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how I make these cute little no soul mushrooms. I think they're so fun to make, easy and quick. So you can put some eyes, you can also embroider the eyes, you can add some spots to the top or not. They all look so good. And I've also created two other sizes. These ones will be available on my uh, website Etsy Ravelry if you want to make them. So it's going to be a three pack. So the small, the medium and the big mushroom. So these two sizes will be um, as written patterns on my shops. And these are going to be free patterns here on my YouTube channel. Make sure to check my YouTube channels for other tutorials like this. I also have all my videos available for right and left handed. So this is a really uh, good to know. Um, so you can make them in every color and they are so much fun to do. So let's get right into it and let's go check the material list. So for this tutorial, you will need three different colors. Color A will be my blue. Color B will be the yellow and color C will be the white. So if you're looking on your mushroom, this is color A, B and C. You're gonna need some polyester stuffing, a pair of scissors, five millimeter uh, crochet hook, a stitch marker, two eight millimeter safety eyes and a yarn needle. If you're making your mushroom with worsted weight yarn, all of the material is in the description. So the crochet hook size and the size of the eyes is all listed in the description. So if you want to do your mushroom in worsted weight yarn, please look at the description. And now let's get started. Okay, so you're going to need your color A and your crochet hook. And we're going to start by making a magic ring of eight single crochet stitches. If you do not know how to make a magic ring, you can check the video right here where I show you how to make one. And just for the purpose of this tutorial and keep it beginner friendly, I'm going to show you another technique that you can use um, so you don't have to use the magic ring if it's too hard still for you. So if you know how to make a magic ring, you can already make your magic ring with eight single crochet stitches in it and then skip this video to round two. If you're not making the magic ring, we're going to start with a slip knot. You can do the slip knot like you want. I'm going to show you how I do it. So I wrap the yarn tail around two fingers and I insert my crochet hook underneath the first strand and then grab the second and then pull both yarn tails. And just a reminder, you can always change the speed of the video in the settings under playback speed. So once you have your slip knot, you want to make sure that when you pull on the yarn tail, like the small yarn tail, it tighten up. And then when you pull on the other one, it loosen up. Okay, so uh, I'm going to chain two now. So to chain two, I'm going to yarn over, pull through the loop. Yarn over, pull through the loop. So this is two chains. And I'm going to work my eight single crochet stitches in the second chain from the hook. So I'm going to insert my crochet hook into the second chain. And for this tutorial, I'm going to be uh, yarning under and over. You can yarn over, over. It's really um, like you prefer. When you do under and over, I'm going to show you what I mean by that. But when you do that, your stitches will be tighter and the look is a little different as well. So you can just try, try both if you want. So to yarn under, I'm just going to place the yarn under my hook and then pull through. And then for the second one, I'm going to yarn over and pull through both loops. So this is one single crochet stitch. And then I'm going to go back into the same chain, yarn under, pull through, yarn over, pull through. And I'm going to work six more single crochet stitches for a total of eight. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. You can pull on your yarn tail gently. So if you're using chenille yarn like this, it can break when you pull on it. So just be very gentle. Okay, so I have my first round looking like this. So I have my eight single crochet stitches in my round. 
Now for round two, you're going to find your next single crochet stitch. So if you're not sure where it is, you can count from the end. So that would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So I'm going to insert my crochet hook right here and I'm going to work an increase. I'm going to do two single crochet stitches in the same stitch. So after I made my first one, I'm going to place my stitch marker in the first stitch of round two and then work another single crochet stitch into that same stitch. So this is an increase and then I'm going into the next stitch. I will work another increase and I'm going to repeat that around. So you're making one increase in each stitch around until you reach the stitch marker and you should finish up with 16 stitches. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Okay, so this is it for round two. I'm gonna remove my stitch marker. Now for round three, we're gonna work a regular single crochet stitch into the first stitch. Place your stitch marker. And then into the next stitch, you're going to work an increase. So two single crochet stitches into the same stitch. And then you want to repeat that around. So one single crochet stitch, one increase, one single crochet stitch, one increase around for a total of 24 stitches. So I'm going to do one more time. So one single crochet stitch, and then I'm going into the next to work an increase. And we're going to meet at the end of round three when we reach the marker. I am now at the end of round three and I have one increase to make in the last stitch. And I have a total of 24 stitches around. Now for round four, we're going to work into the back loops only. So in your stitches, you always have a front loop and a back loop okay so usually we're working underneath both loops but now for round four only i just want to be working into the back loops okay so i'm gonna go into the next stitch or next back loop which is right there and i'm gonna work a single crochet stitch and then i'm gonna place my marker And then I'm going to work six more single crochet stitches, always in the back loops only. So for a total, total of seven single crochet stitches. So this is two. I know it's it can be hard to see the stitches when working with this type of yarn. If it's too hard to see the stitches for you and you're a beginner, I suggest you to try with worsted weight yarn and then come back to this um tutorial to make another one with turnkey yarn but if you're still beginning in crochet follow the same exact tutorial but just with a different type of yarn uh to make it easier so now i have one two three single crochet stitches i want to make seven so that's four five six Seven, and then I'm going to work an increase into the next stitch. So this is two single crochet stitches together. And then we're going to repeat that. So seven single crochet stitches, one increase. Seven single crochet stitches, one increase. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, and then I'm gonna increase and then one more time seven single crochet stitches one two three four five six seven and then I have one stitch left and I want to do my increase there 
there we go now we can cut this yarn uh you don't need to leave a long yarn tail maybe just four inches or like 10 centimeters and then you're gonna pull it through so i'm just uh like pulling on the crochet hook like this you can remove your stitch marker or you can leave it there for now because i'm gonna show you how to make an invisible fast enough so to make an invisible fast enough the goal is just to have a a uh, little almost seamless color change so it's not as obvious as the regular color change if you don't want to do that you can just do a regular color change to your color b and then uh, skip to round five but if you want to do the invisible color change uh, you're going to insert your crochet hook from the back so this is the right side of my stitches this is the wrong side of my stitches so i'm going to insert my crochet hook from the back into the stitch after where you have your marker. So you're basically skipping one stitch and then going into the next from the back. And then grab your yarn tail with your crochet hook, pull it through. And then you, you wanna go back into the last stitch of your round from the back again and only grabbing the back loop like this. And I'm gonna grab my yarn tail again and pull it through. What it makes, it gives you a fake stitch right here. So if it's really loose, you can pull on your yarn tail to um, make it smaller, just so it looks like the other stitches, okay? Now, if you wanna make some dots to your um, mushroom top, you can do that. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. If you don't wanna do it, you can skip to round five. So if you're doing the little dots, you're going to need your color C. In my case, it's going to be yarn, uh, the white yarn. So I'm going to use a strand of yarn, not so long, so it depends how many dots you want to do. So I'm going to cut, um, I want to say 12 inches, 30 centimeters. And I'm going to thread my uh, needle. So we're going to embroider some dots. And to do that, with your oh, you can remove your stitch marker once your invisible fast enough is done. I'm gonna insert my crochet hook from uh, underneath and then going up like this, and pull through. And you wanna leave a tail on the other side because we're gonna make a knot. You we're gonna tie a knot afterwards. Okay, so you're gonna leave a little tail there. And then to embroider the dots, you're just gonna, so you're skipping one uh, stitch or two, depending on the size of the dots that you wanna do. Let's do two. So I'm skipping one and then going into the next, and then I'm pushing my needle right back in the same uh, spot, same stitch. This is just like a little line. And then if you wanna make it thicker, I'm just gonna go back into the same stitch and then on the other side. So it makes it a little thicker and you could do another uh, ply so it could be it could be three ply and then I'm just gonna go somewhere else and then I'm gonna do a small spot so I'm just skipping one uh, stitch and do it once then somewhere else so I'm gonna speed up the video to make my spots and I'm gonna meet you when I have all of them made and then I'm gonna tie my knots Okay, so it looks good enough for me. And now I'm gonna tie uh, my knots with these two yarn tails. And that's gonna be inside of the mushroom so you won't see it. Okay, I'm just gonna cut it so it's not in my way. And now let's do round five. So I'm gonna use my color B, which is the yellow for me. And I'm going to insert my crochet hook into the back loop again. So back loop only of the last stitch or where it's a little higher, as you can see here. So I'm going into the back loop only. Then I'm going to take color B, place it on my hook. I'm just folding it over the hook and then pull it through. 
And now for round five, we're gonna work slip stitches. Um, so we're gonna go into the next back loop only. So I'm just holding my yarn tail here on this side. So I'm going into the next back loop. I'm gonna yarn over and pull through the back loop and through the working loop on my hook. And then if your chain, uh, if your slip stitch is really loose here, you can pull it a little bit. So for round five, just make sure you're not working with a uh, tight tension just because it's going to be harder to work the next round if your slip stitches are really tight. So it's better to be a little looser than uh, too tight. So I'm going into the next back loop and then I'm going to yarn over, pull through everything. And I want to re repeat that around to have a total of 27 slip stitches. Okay, and as you can see, I didn't put my stitch marker because it's pretty obvious where I started the round because we made a color change. So I'm going to meet you at the end of round five. For round six, we're going to work into the back loops only, but this time of the slip stitches. And for the first stitch, I want to work, yes, under the back loop, but also I want to insert my hook underneath the blue part that you can see here. So if I look um, on the other side, it looks like this. So I'm really in the middle of the stitch. And then I'm gonna work a single crochet stitch. I'm yarning under, pulling through, yarning over, pulling through. And here I'm gonna place my uh, stitch marker. And then with the next two stitches or back loops, I'm gonna work a regular decrease. So you might know the invisible decrease technique, but for this round, I'm only gonna be using the regular decrease technique just because it's easier since we're working in the back loops only. So to do the regular decrease, I'm gonna show you. So you insert your hook into the back loop of the next stitch, yarn under, pull through. So you have two loops and then you're going into the next back loop. Yarn under, pull through, and now you have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through all three loops. Then into the next back loop, I'm going to work a single crochet stitch. And into the next two stitches, I'm going to work a regular decrease like we just saw. And you want to repeat that around. So one single crochet stitch into the back loop, and then one regular decrease using the next two back loops. And then we're going to meet at the end of round six and you should have a total of 18 stitches and you should be finishing with a decrease. I'm now at the end of round six and I have my last decrease to do. Like this. And if you have a loose stitch like me right here, you can uh, go to the inside of the mushroom and then pull on your um, stitch, so on the yarn tail, it's gonna uh, change it. So I'm pulling on the yellow and I'm also gonna pull on the blue like this and I'm gonna tie a knot with these two yarn tails. There we go. Now for round seven, I'm going to remove my stitch marker. We're going to work invisible decreases this time. So I'm going to show you uh, this technique. So to work an invisible decrease, you're still going to be using two stitches, but this time you're going to use the front loops only. So I'm going to insert my crochet hook into the next front loop. And then I lower my crochet hook and I'm going to go grab the next front loop. So I have two front loops on my hook. I know it's really hard to see with this kind of yarn, but, but I have two front loops here and I have my working loop right there. I'm going to yarn under, pull through the front loops only. So the first two loops. Then you have two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two. We're going to place our stitch marker here. And you want to work invisible decreases uh, all the way around for round seven. So I'm going to make another one with you so I can see that I've used these two front loops. So I'm going into the next two front loops. So the first here and then the second yarn under, pull through the front loops, yarn over, pull through both loops. And you want to make sure that you pull on your working yarn here just to tighten up your um, decreases as you go. Then going into the next two front loops and pulling. OK, 
Okay, so I'm going to meet you at the end of round seven, and you should have a total of nine decreases. I am now at the end of round seven, and I have one more invisible decrease to do, but I just wanted to do it with you because we're going to change color, and we're just going to do a regular color change. So um, to do that, we're going to do we're going to start our invisible decrease. So front loop, front loop, yarn under, pull through both front loops. And then once you have uh, your two loops on your hook, you want to change color. So for this uh, mushroom, I'm using white as color C. So let me grab my white yarn. So with my color C, I'm going to place it on my hook like we did earlier and pull it through both loops. Now I've changed to white and I can cut my yellow yarn. Not too long. And now just be careful, do not pull on your crochet hook because this tail is still loose. I'm gonna remove my stitch marker. And now for the next uh, round, we're gonna work into the front loops only. So I'm gonna find my next stitch and I'm gonna work into the front loop only and I'm gonna work slip stitches. So I'm gonna yarn over, pull through everything. Okay, so that's one. And I wanna do a total of nine. So front loop only, slip stitch. Front loop only, slip stitch. I have three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, and nine. And now you can remove your crochet hook. We're just gonna tie both yarn tails together. So I'm pulling a little bit on my white, not too much. Then a little bit on my yellow and tie a knot. And then I'm gonna hide the yarn tail inside. Now for the next round, so round nine, we're gonna work into the back loops only of our slip stitches. And we're gonna work one single crochet stitch in each stitch around. So for a total of nine stitches. So I'm gonna insert my crochet hook into the next back loop only. Work a single crochet stitch. Next back loop single crochet stitch i have two don't forget your stitch marker i want to do nine that's three four five six seven eight and nine. So that was all in the back loops only. And now we're ready for round 10. So round 10, we're gonna be working into the into bolt loops. I'm just going underneath this the next stitch and I'm gonna work one single crochet stitch in each stitch around. So for still a total of nine stitches. And I'm gonna meet you at the end of that round. Okay, round 10 is done. I have my nine stitches. Now for round 11, I'm gonna do one single crochet stitch, place my stitch marker. Then I'm gonna work another single crochet stitch. So I have two. And then into the next stitch, I'm gonna work an increase. So two single crochet stitches together. One more time, one single crochet stitch, one single crochet stitch in the next, and then an increase in the next. Then last time, single crochet stitch, single crochet stitch, increase in the last. Okay, so this is it for round 11. Now for round 12, remove your stitch marker. Gonna do one single crochet stitch, place your stitch marker. You want to do two more single crochet stitches, so one in each. 
So you have a total of three single crochet stitches and then work an increase into the next. And you want to repeat that. One, two, three single crochet stitches and then an increase. One single crochet stitch, two single crochet stitch, three, and then increase in the next. And one more time, one single crochet stitch, one single crochet stitch, one single crochet stitch, and then increase in the last. And now you have a total of 15 stitches around. Now we're gonna place the safety eyes. So we're gonna place them between rounds 11 and 12, so the last two um, rounds. And I like to just push my little mushroom like this. So I like when the top is kind of flat like this, but if you want, you can also stuff it, but it will look like this. It still works, but I really like it when it's flat like this. So I'm not gonna stuff the top part here. So for the eyes, I'm gonna leave the back at the back. So where we change color and I'm gonna place the eyes on the right side or the beautiful side. <laughs> and like I said, between the last two rounds, so this is round 12 and this is round 11. So I'm gonna place a first eye right here. Like this. Then I'm gonna take my other eye. I'm gonna skip one hole here between the stitches and then I'm gonna insert my um, eye in, into the next stitch, like this. Okay, then I'm gonna secure them. Not uh, placing the washer too tight because with that kind of yarn, it can uh, make the eye disappear a little bit. So I'm just uh, securing them at the first place here. Okay, so it looks like this. Let's see. So if your little mushroom looks angry, it's probably because a piece of yarn is going over its eye. So just push the yarn underneath the eye with your uh, nails or with a yarn needle if you don't have any nails. So we can see the full eye and there's no yarn over it. Okay, and now let's uh, continue. So we're gonna work around 13. I'm gonna remove my stitch marker. And I'm gonna make one single crochet stitch in each stitch around. So next stitch, single crochet, stitch marker. And then I'm just making one single crochet stitch in each stitch. For a total of 15, and we're gonna meet at the end of that round. Okay, I'm at the end of round 13, and now I'm gonna stuff it a little bit. So I'm taking some stuffing, and now, like I said earlier, I don't wanna be uh, placing any stuffing into the top part, so I'm not pushing my stuffing higher than this. So just so it stops here, like this. And now we're gonna work our last round, so round 14. You can remove your stitch marker. We're gonna start with a single crochet stitch into the first stitch. Place your stitch marker. And then you wanna work seven invisible decreases. So just a reminder, invisible decrease is only with the front loop. So front loop, front loop, yarn under, pull through the front loops. Yarn over, pull through both loops. And you wanna repeat that a total of seven times or until you reach your marker. And seven. And then to fasten up, I'm gonna remove my uh, stitch marker and I'm gonna make a slip stitch into the next stitch. Then I'm gonna leave a small yarn tail, like six inches, 15 centimeters, and cut it. Then you can pull it through and pull tight. Now I'm gonna finish stuffing. And I wanna make sure that I'm pushing my stuffing 
all the way here because I want the base of the mushroom to be wider than uh, the top here. So I, I just want to make sure that I'm not forgetting these increases that I made. So I'm basically just pushing my stuffing here to the sides to give it the right shape. Okay, and it looks good to me. So this part here is empty. This is firm. And now I'm gonna close the opening. So you can use your crochet hook or, or your needle. I'm gonna show you with a crochet hook. So this is my slip stitch. I'm gonna go into the next stitch only in the front loop and from the inside going out so only grabbing the front loop i'm gonna grab the yarn top pull it through now going into the next front loop same again so i'm just doing that around and you have a total of eight stitches so you should do that eight times i'm going to show you if you have a yarn needle and prefer to use it if you have your yarn needle you're gonna go from the outside going in, only in the front loops. You can do two at a time when you're using your yarn needle. Okay, I'm getting close to the uh, end. I have one more. And now I'm gonna pull to close the opening. Be gentle with a uh, chenille yarn, you don't wanna break it. So I'm just holding the last stitch here and I'm pulling on my yarn till it helps to close the opening. And now to finish this up, I'm gonna insert my yarn needle into the middle of where we close the opening and then I'm gonna push it out at the top here. And I'm gonna pull tight because what I wanna do is to bring the center piece here um, higher so or deeper into the mushroom so it can stand so if it's if this part here is rounded like this it's not going to be standing so if you pull on your yarn tail this part here will go uh, inside and then it's going to be flat okay and then I'm going to remove my yarn needle and I'm going to cut my yarn tail so I'm pulling on it and I'm cutting it and then you can just place the top remove this little piece of yarn there we go. And there you go. You have your little mushroom here. Like this. And it can stand. So I really hope you enjoy this little tutorial. Let me know in the comment if you want more tutorial like this. Make sure to follow me to share my videos uh, with your crochet friends. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. I'm everywhere. <laughs> See you soon. Bye.